Hey guys, my name is David Arroyo and today we're going to be looking at how to make a comic book page in Clip Studio Paint. If you haven't used Clip Studio Paint before, that's not necessarily a problem. I still use Photoshop all the time, Sketchbook Pro, Procreate, all these great softwares. But what we're going to do now and what I want to show you now is why Clip Studio Paint is a great solution to make comic books. So yeah, please join me as we'll be exploring the features that really set it apart from the rest. All right, so let's have a look at the workspace setup that I'm using. You don't have to use the same, but it's just to give you a couple ideas of what might work. All right, so let's bring this over here. So to make this comic book page, I've decided to use my iPad Pro. Um, it's using Clip Studio Paint here, as you can see, but it's a mirror of my iMac. And for that, I'm using AstroPad, AstroPad being this right here. Right, why am I using the iPad Pro? Uh, because I want to draw on it. You know, I, I want real precision lines, and for that I need to draw on a screen. What I've done, I've just set up the um, spacing here, you know, the menu to fit within the screen here so that I can quickly access it in, uh, in the iPad Pro. And, you know, if I want to remove all the menus, if I press tab, it goes away so I can focus on the drawing itself. All right, so that's just uh, quickly a few words before we get started. Now let's move on to actually creating the file. All right, well, to make a new file, we just go to File, New, and then you have a set of options here at the top. We're going to focus on the second one. Um, Clip Studio Paint does a whole bunch of stuff like illustration, uh, comics, you know, um, magazine printing, more comic setups. Uh, animation it's very very uh, wide in its, its its offer so it's really cool but for this particular purpose we're just going to focus on comic only um, we're going to give our file a name so that would be clip studio paint demo we are going to or i'm going to stick to the a4 size you've got other options here uh, explore them if you want a4 is just a standard um, international paper size so i'm just going to keep it easy uh, the bleed we're gonna leave it resolution you can choose uh, 600 or 350 I'm gonna stick to 350 for the demo we're not gonna be using a template here but I do want to quickly show you because it's a really cool feature that Clip Studio Paint has so this is basically where you already have your frames uh, set up for you in a particular way you don't have to create that you know the work is already done for you so really really cool uh, just so that you know that it's there um, you've got options for multiple pages and a cover page uh, we don't have any of that so we're skipping story information you don't have to do this I just tend to do it it's information that will be outside of the printing zone uh, so you know I've just written down immersion uh, because I am going to be using a, an example from my webcomic called immersion uh, clip studio paint demo page was a subtitle and the author you can write your own name obviously in my case that is David Arroyo right then we press OK and there we go the file has been created now again remember how I wanted to quickly set this up so that I can access everything within the iPad Pro so I'm quickly going to set it up so that it fits within the iPad Pro screen it makes it a bit smaller on the iMac but you know it makes it more um, user-friendly on the iPad Pro. Now if I want to put my entire page on screen I press Command-0 or Control-0 on a PC shift it a little bit to the side and there you go. This all fits perfectly within my iPad um, screen and there we have it. Let's start with the idea. Let's start reading the script and then let's start drawing out the layout in the next video.